in this video i'm gonna be riding the 5000 watt e-bike in the snow i have ridden it in loose dirt mud everything because i have taken this thing off roading stuff and i handled it very well i never ridden in the snow haven't gotten the opportunity to run in the snow and since the temperature actually went up to reasonable well i'll go ahead and ride figure i'll go ahead and try it out because later on this week it's gonna get really warm and then all the snow is pretty much gonna go away so i kind of want to take the opportunity and see how this bike handles in the snow pretty much but trick is pretty much having your tires a little bit inflated which you mean deflate lower psi so you can get good traction and being very careful not to go really fast yeah, remember you're not gonna have as good braking power and everything else while riding snow because you're not gonna get as much traction so you got to be careful when riding the snow now i have done it for two years i've done it on other bikes like mid drives and stuff like that with no problem i probably fell off once when i was first learning how to ride in the snow and stuff like that but hopefully this bike will handle and i won't fall off i do got my full helmet on my motorcycle helmet and stuff like that and protective gloves and stuff like that so we'll just see how it goes we're kind of take it slow so here you go And yeah, she's doing well. She's getting traction, not losing traction. But this is where you gotta be careful is when you're turning because that's where you'll easily wipe out and stuff like that, of course. So you just take it pretty slow where you get the more rougher snow patches and stuff like that. You don't want to go ridiculously fast because you go ridiculously fast. And then you go ahead and actually break before you go actually do your braking because you're going to lose braking power and so forth, but overall, she's handling pretty well. Just like I said, go light on the drought if you're riding in the snow. Don't go ridiculously fast. You know, I'm not going to take it crazy speeds. I'm not in a hurry. And it's actually handling quite amply, actually. No traction loss or anything. I don't feel like I'm slipping or anything like that. But we'll see how we get on trail. They even shoveled the trail out and stuff like that. One trick though is, is that, you know, when you're riding the snow, don't you lose your body as much to turn the bike like you would on a motorcycle. Cause that's how you're gonna actually wipe out pretty much. Because then you're gonna lose traction. You need all the traction you can get. Ridden riding in the snow, but it's doing very well. <laughs> And I'm going about 21, 22. I'm going pretty fast, actually. Let's see. They actually shoveled it. It doesn't look like they shoveled the trail at all, of course. But it is what it is. It's going to make for fun, I guess. And see, there you go. I almost slipped off there. And this is where you get into the problem, now. Okay, they did travel. They just didn't shovel it here. So I had to walk the bike. Oh, that's because it's going to be too thick for it, obviously. Yeah, because someone did, shoveled this, but they didn't shovel the rest of the trail. So, let's just see how the rest of the trail is, pretty much. Let's hope it handles good. <laughs> Yep, and that's the trick too, is you want to keep one foot where you kind of can get it off the pedal. So if you have to stop an emergency, you can. Now, no bikes can go over that thick of snow, pretty much. The one that I had to walk the bike over and stuff like that, and I didn't expect it to. See, and that's what you got to be careful with. That's why you want to take it slow because you can get those ice patches underneath and stuff like that. It's easy to slip out. It's just a matter of being able to feel the traction and stuff like that. That's why you want to take it slow when riding in the snow and stuff like that. But this is more of a challenge for me. See, and you just go slow over those.
and they ain't shovel the whole entire thing but let's just see how this does here yeah it's okay it's not really a lot of ice here yeah and that's the trick to riding in the snow you do want to take it slow but so far so good Mainly the trick is, is when you're going, you know, on a hill and stuff like that because your front skirt tend to want to actually climb up on you. So that's where you got to be extremely careful when you're riding in the snow. Hopefully they shoveled up. I'm just hoping they shoveled the end of this one here and I don't have to walk the bike over. Now as far as what gear to um, ride when you're riding in the winter, you definitely want to go ahead and get some windproof gloves because as you're riding, the faster you're riding and stuff like that, the wind chills could get actually lower. So you're getting to, you know, where it might be 20, 30 degrees outside it'll get close to the negatives as you're riding because the air is pushing against you know your gloves and stuff like that and that's going to make you freeze of course and overall she's doing quite amicably but I was not expecting because normally I'll ride you know mid drive in these kind of conditions and stuff like that because the mid drive got the better center of gravity so when you're going uphill the front's not gonna come up on you and stuff like that and you'll have a little bit more control but this bike here has much enough, enough torque and it's heavy in the front so i kind of just wanted to try it out but nope it's doing very well better than i expected to be honest with you Now on the streets it's going to be easy because the streets for the most part they actually you know went ahead and shoveled most of the streets and stuff by now. Depends on your trails and here they did a decent job they actually shoveled most of the trail as decent as they could. So you know something I'm not going to complain the only thing they didn't shovel too much but it could have been as they were doing the streets they probably just pushed the snow here and here's where you kind of got to well this is not too thick, so it'll be fine. But you gotta be careful with these thick patches here. You never wanna take a chance, you always wanna. And like I said, don't jet off. And then here you can go just as fast as you want, pretty much. The other thing too you gotta watch out for is any black ice or anything like that, because black ice will get you. <laughs> the bike rides are actually quite amicably in the snow which i'm quite surprised so yeah you can use a high power e-bike on the snow because the weight huh all right just be careful when you're doing your turns you don't want to lean in your turns too much when riding in the snow because you need that traction so okay and good thing about it is they did shove her up here so yeah we'll take this trail I wasn't sure I was going to take it, just take the street. Now I'm going to be honest with you, it's a lot more safer riding the roads and so, yeah. See, and that's the thing. And we're just seeing it. That's where you start losing tractions on thick snow like this here, but I'm just kind of walking it. And then there you go. But that's the trick to riding in the snow is you want to always be prepared for that if your reel loses traction and stuff like that where you can put your foot down on the ground and then therefore you can catch the bike before you go ahead and wipe out on it that's why you always take it slow because you never know when you hit thick patches like that they shoveled or not but we'll go ahead and do this and i can see here they kind of shoveled there so you want to take stay away from any 
patches, especially ones that you don't see are the ones that are gonna make you wipe out. And then you gotta be careful with black ice and stuff like that too, because if you see black ice, you're probably likely gonna slip. <laughs> and no, she's doing a very good job. Which I'm quite surprised. <laughs> but we're gonna be soon getting off. My main thing is how does it handle uphill and stuff like that on the snow. <laughs> That's kind of more what I'm curious about. And that's where you really got to be careful because as you're going uphill, because this is a rear hub boulder, your front's going to actually start to try to come up on you. And you kind of got to lean your weight forward a little bit to kind of counterbalance that wheel coming up. And then therefore you can still maintain traction. Now I love doing this. <laughs> That's why I do. I could have drove today, but you know something? I kind of just want to do it as the challenge and stuff like that. Just to kind of see how well this bike handles because something I've been wanting to do and then had the chance to do it because I just built this bike pretty much. And like I said, be careful when you go to corners and stuff because that's where you can also wipe out too if you go too fast. You just take it nice and easy and you'll be fine pretty much you know if you go nice and easy on the snow you got stud make sure you got studded tires don't do this on the skinny and stuff and try not to ride a 2.5 inch tire or anything like that or under because you will wipe out even though my first bike that i learned how to ride the snow was was actually a 2.5 inch um fat tire bike in here we gotta check here because they usually don't shovel these paths and what happens is they do shovel them probably it's that the plows and stuff like that what do you call it here so i always check here we're good so we can definitely make that and we can definitely make that it's not too thick where the tires just spin out and lose traction but now to go to the other shop um subject which is lyric and lyrics you know coming out the graffiti now on reddit they actually said that they're using a 50 amp bms now the reason why i know that's bullshit is because the cells they're using are samson 35e's and they already set the pack 17 and a half amp hours so there's no way they could be using you know a 50 amp bms when you know they're using a 5p configuration which is how you get the 17.5 amp hours so they're bullshitting on that one pretty much and you know that's why i would avoid that bike and plus the fact too is on that smaller shark case you don't want to put a 40 amp 50 amp bms on that anyway you know so the max they're gonna be tied down to is 30 35 amps so like as i said on my other videos i would kind of avoid it wait to see what they actually come out with because for all we know they could change it but on their website in specification it does say samson 35e's and it does say you know pretty much you know that they're doing 52 volts in the configuration and all that so i know for a fact it's not a 50 amp bms and if you did do a 50 amp out of that battery pack well your bike will be on fire pretty much and here's where the tricky part's gonna be this is what's gonna get you <laughs> all right and i already can see this is gonna be a problem because they did not shovel this so i'm gonna have to probably put my foot down but that's why you gotta be careful okay now we're good last thing you want to do is spin out on this and then here okay they at least shoveled this so we're good. Yeah, overall, just take it slow. Take it nice and easy, and you'll be good pretty much. Hopefully my backside ain't clogged with snow because I only got fender in the front. But as far as using what fenders and stuff like that, if you're use fenders, use full coverage, but I don't recommend it in the snow and the reason why I don't like to use 
fenders in the snow is because fenders actually clog up as the snow goes into the reel and it clogs up those fenders and stuff like that too making for a very dangerous situation so you got to be very careful if you're using fenders in the snow and stuff like that you know what i mean now they're high enough then it probably won't be a problem which i might try to do in the rear of this one now that i know that it's okay these things i am gonna upgrade the tires anyway and stuff like that to even get more traction out of it but you know we'll go ahead and see how you know well it does and stuff like that and how dirty the bike gets i am gonna one thing to note though especially if your city uses a lot of salt you do want to make sure you wipe down your bike you know after use and stuff like that and make sure that you're not you know we're going across this here because i don't want to wipe out so we'll go into the actual lane this time around and this is where you can slip easy so be careful don't hit the throttle too fast and you'll be fine pretty much you know once you get up to now you can go fast and you know still watch out what's in front of you so i could do how this actually kind of cleans my tires anyway because i had some mud from prior wires and stuff like that people are probably looking at me like crazy riding a bike in the actual snow and stuff like that the other day it was even hard to drive a car and do this <laughs> But, you know, since then they kind of paved the roads and stuff. I mean, they went not paved the roads. I mean, they shoveled the roads and everything like that. So, it's pretty good. But like I said, one thing about riding in the winter is you also want to go ahead and make sure you do your maintenance. Like oil, your change, oil, any pivot points and stuff like that. You know, so that way you don't got to worry about. And then there's some snow coming up there. <laughs> So try to stay Today I'm just kind of taking it slow I'm not going full speed so I can The bike handles pretty amply I can't complain No, I'll probably take the street coming all the way back and stuff like that Just so it's safer We're gonna go a little bit fast because it's not bad. It's not gonna be nothing that's gonna draw off traction. You can see there's some snow patches there, so that's why you gotta be careful when riding in the snow. But nothing severe, so I can still go right through that. And there you go and that's kind of what it's like to ride in the snow just know how to handle the bike know when you're losing traction you gotta know your bike pretty much i don't recommend most people to actually do this i recommend not to ride in the snow and stuff like that because you can actually end up in the er and seriously injure yourself and stuff like that so it's not something I would recommend unless you have experience you know on how to handle bike and everything else like that then go ahead but for the most part I recommend not to ride the bike in the snow because you could easily lose traction and if, especially if you're going like 30 40 miles you're gonna end up in the ER pretty much there's no doubt about that even if you do well protective gear and stuff like that so and we gotta be careful these railroad tractors not all the time do they do but mainly you want to ride in the middle of all that slush and stuff that's gonna you know get to you and stuff like that like i said i'm quite happy with the way this bike handles actually you know maneuver is good and i can do this 
you know it's pretty good actually I gotta say I wasn't even expecting it to be that good that's the other thing too is you want to make sure you have turn signals and stuff like that on your bike but here you go and it's done quite well actually so this um ends the commute and concludes the video